One of the most pernicious obstacles to invention is learned helplessness. So people get the problems that you encounter, if you encounter them for a long enough duration, humans, actually biology in general, but humans in particular, are so remarkably adaptive that we pretty soon see right through the problems. Um, we don't even notice them. And so great inventors and people who, they're very good at, you know, ordinary things bother them. You know, they wake up every morning and take a shower, and they think, this shower is terrible. You know, and, and, but, if you, but it's very difficult to do that, to kind of push through this learned helplessness. You get used to something. Here's an example. This woman is named Mary Anderson. And Mary invented the windshield wiper. Let me get Mary's paper out here. Oh, well. I don't know the story well enough. But Mary was, this was around 1913, and cars didn't have windshield wipers. In fact, when it rained, people would pull off to the side of the road, and they would take a rag and clean the windshield off, and they'd drive another mile <laughs> and, and repeat this process. And they thought nothing of this. And Mary you know, looked at this, and she said that it's ridiculous and that there must be a better solution than stopping every so often and cleaning off your windshield with a rag. And so she invented the windshield wiper, and she was roundly criticized that this was a ridiculous thing, and people had all sorts of reasons why it wouldn't work, primarily that it would be a huge distraction for drivers to have this thing going back and forth in front of them. And, but she persisted, and, of, and, it, and this happened very quickly. Within 10 years of her invention of the windshield wiper, they were standard equipment on all cars. So it was one of these things that, you know, it actually, even though people poo-pooed it, once they tried it, they're like, no, stopping, not having to stop every mile with a rag is actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> and so Mary definitely got the last laugh.